Hello everyone, this is Eris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Immortal Empires preview let's play as we continue with Zhao Ming. And we have this battle here against the Crooked Moon. This should be one of their elite endgame armies. That's why it's all max rank. And we're gonna see how strong that is. It's 1v2. We are favored to just Pyrrhic it, but might as well fight. Mudsk. Mudsk. Okay. Our reinforcement comes behind him. Let's not do that. Let, let's put our reinforcement on our side. It's going to take a lot longer. But thinking of AI logic, I don't know if they charge. Because they do have this catapult unit, which typically means they will just sit there. Are we on defense? Oh, we are. They are going to charge. Hmm. That is rough. That is not how we want our army to be set up here. If I pull them all the way up behind us, we're talking about 450, 448, 446, 440, okay. And then we're gonna drag our formation all the way back to this corner as well. Come on, fit. Right, we're gonna back it up even though these four is not great but uh, for the sake of our reinforcements I mean a couple seconds doesn't hurt just to clear up this space All right, so they should be charging us. What? How do we fit like that? That feels so weird. Actually... Yeah, let's do that. Like, I'm so worried about friendly fire that I almost don't want to put anyone near them. Yeah, they're definitely coming. At once. Jade warriors. Naturally. Warrior mortals are either marching at once. We need to buy some time. I mean, until they enter this area, they're not going to have great targets. those poison it's okay we'll take those hits I have no damage spells except for this but we probably want to lock them down to do that one hit him Fire in the blood. Without fail. that's pretty homey uh, but we're starting to stagger him yeah if he call that staggering yeah, we we are staggering him. So be it. Dip. I shall. Ah, I was trying to kite that out. Seeking opportunity. Of course. At once. We're going to kill him before he reaches our line. OK, 
Okay, a minute left. We're gonna summon this just to stall. And then we'll test this spell out. It's pretty big AoE. We fired one before he routed? Can we not do that? Alright, now we target the giant. Uh, too late to cancel it. We cast it? There's no animation? Catapults. Oh wow, he's they're murdering our crane gunners. Alright, I don't want to lose any more health. We're coming back. It's okay, we got enough crossbows to shoot this side. Nothing to worry about. Lost like four crane gunners? Not a big deal. We're gonna lose more, obviously, but. Yeah, one for one trade with his artillery ammo. It's not too bad. Nice. Back to the giants. Repositioning. I mean, so much for such a experienced army. Alright, we're here. Useless. We can rally, basically. Kiss of the spirit dragon, descendant of dragons. Fire in the blood. Uh, any particular unit that we need to debuff? Black works, maybe. Shogun gun sorcerer. This way. Rally. To me. Is there really no animation? Oh, I guess that's the animation. It was more single target than, than actually ranged. Right, the giant's not gonna be able to do much. Why do we have a sky? sky we have a sky lantern. All right, you guys have a target. Go kill that thing. And you guys kill that. Build this side. Build this side. Slight friendly fire. Should be fine. Probably should have been hitting that. Giant's dead. Cavalry keep moving. Wait, is there a big spider in front of us? Can we kill that? This is a mess. I mean, he's tall, so it's easy hit. There we go. Stop firing. Could be friendly. I want to chase this group down. Kill them all. Where are your spines? They're so tiny compared to the cavalry. I mean, if that's the end game difficulty, it's not that bad.
Like we took losses, obviously, but like that was pretty easy to kill. This guy did most of the damage. And this is like one of our worst general setups. How could the backup army have a Sky Lantern? What are we doing with that? Gotta get rid of that unit. Yeah, replenishment for sure. Alright, and we're balanced. I don't know why you know, they came back, but what what are they doing? Not doing anything. Alright, we have a potential fight over here. Can we we can't kill any of them? Sister, he's on march. I can we can yeah, we can fight this together. Except for I'm gonna have to suffer. I think the first time we have the double dragons, let's just fight this. We're probably going to end up taking more casualties than we needed to, but um, we could have two dragons fly in. There's too many units to micro for these armies. Because it's like, you want to micro the sleds, you want to micro the sky junk, you want to micro the sentinels. And you also really want to micro the dragons. Alright, so sister shows up here the fastest. They don't have to charge at us, but they also are on march, so they can't really change or they can't wait it out so most likely they will charge at us now drumming's army is kind of weird with the range setup because we don't have a lot of range at all yeah this is actually really good we can micro this at that height it's kind of nuts i really hate cannons i feel like they're just here to punish our own units we can probably move it up on top of this ridge. A couple bound spells we can use here. Yeah, we kind of drag them across. Treat them as heavy cavalry. Back here, back here. I've got two of these. And yeah, I will go fight first, I guess. And it has uh, two sentinels. They can come out, protect the flank. Right, like with this thing, especially since we have height, the physics really shows. Yeah, this is nuts. I don't think we hit them, but super close. Super close. And then you watch like our range indicator. It's like we're supposed to hit here, but we can hit there. I'm gonna try a couple different things. I'm gonna get the brother and sister together and see if there is a in sync dragon transformation animation. So I might have to change him back and then wait for the cooldown and change him again. We can go harass. They don't have too many fast stuff. That's 70 speed. Yeah, I technically want to pick on infantry. Alright, I change back, change back. Get the 120 second going. 
All right, dear sister, where are you? Here you are. Come over here. Yep, sister brought a lot more cannons. Let's put them on this little high ground. She also has a ton of these. Also a ton of these. Oh, she also had two of these. With joy. Thoughts in harmony for the defense. The Iron I feel like these two are going to get picked off if I don't put them with them. On the march. Because the AI is going to charge at them. Let's go. 40 seconds and we can transform. Close enough. Pretty cool. Maybe next time draw me on the right side, because it seems like he has like a pushing motion, but oh, instinct dragon flying. It's the same model, you know, obviously. So, but it looks so cool. Let's kill. Let's kill their lord. Oh, in sync. Okay, we can do a lot of stuff. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, not that one. Let's debuff the enemy lord right there. Dear sister. Boost yourself. Heal us. Also, talent of the night. Oh. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, we're gonna keep these two siblings together for pretty much the remainder of the game. I don't actually want to fight that poison unit. Hold on, let's drag ourselves out. No one's gonna... Like, we can't micro the war sled right now. Like, we could play... run it into these. But, like, why bother? There, there's so many things we can use here. Technically, this doesn't really boost us. Magic? We already have magic attack. Here, we'll just heal ourselves. Who's the one shooting us? No, there's no point to reflect that. It's not much damage. I'm gonna do one more Talon of the Night. It's a nice cluster here. We're not even losing health. We both have regen. Oh, I'm not sure if I have regen. I know my brother has regen. Chaos bonds are unbreakable, which is a little bit problematic. Not really the target we should be fighting. We should let the range damage really do that. Yeah, more buffs for us. Come on, use our mass, drag ourselves through. Yeah, it's just going to be the spawn fighting us at the end. 
It's okay, we'll just keep spamming heal. There's a couple of sin yeah, there's a couple of them that also needs healing. But I don't think we'll be bothering. It's gonna be hard to see what army can stop these two. With the amount of heals that we have, and just the raw damage. Alright, in sync flying again. Love to see it. Oh, not so in sync this time. Alright, let's get them to stop. That last guy. Alright, in sync flying again. Ah, uh, not really. Ah, uh, good fight. As much as I would prefer if they make more interesting lords for Cathay in the future and not just all dragon lords. It'll be nice to see more dragons flying together in one battle. It's up to four, because you can get up to four armies. So that would be pretty cool. Yeah, we can use this as a heal. The terrain is really bad, so... We take Blizzard Peak. I march to help him. Ruler of the sky you guys are lucky to get experience off of that. Just take the resistances, actually. I Level 49. Almost maxed. We want to get this at the end. So this is... Oh, we have one extra point. Probably fast hand. Probably fast hand. Or 10% like missile resistance. Plague of Rust. Not that important. Yeah, maybe this unified charge. A great boon to my experiments. In Do we drag our sister nine. in March? It's gonna be a problem. They have to go through that, so they can't move towards us. That's small. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. We can march. So it feels like Drugodown can start tilting towards here. Dragon -blooded He's gonna be stationed here for a long time. Ah, unbalanced. Desert. Alchemist. It's not a bad building. We just have to temporarily recruit one and maybe get rid of one later. Alchemist of Shangya. I mean, we can also start doing this, boosting income, and just keep them. I think they can be net positive. Alright, warbands are here. A bit early, isn't it? Madness. No. But yeah, we fight these together, and we're just gonna delegate these fights. I'm not gonna bother. We do lose a unit. I'm not gonna bother fighting these every time they spawn. And why can't I recruit? 
because we're full. This is the army that lost one. Gun Lord reporting. There is merit in this. We dragged the garrison with us here as well. We will bring forth. They will earn their lives. Many feet, one purpose. Should we just kill it? Power in the blood. It befits my high station. Offspring of dragons. It is mine by bloodright. Dragon blood is Shugunga. That's ugly. But also acceptable at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's like, so what if it's such high casualties? Now we get a rest for so many turns, basically, where they can just slowly recruit back those peasant spearmen, essentially. A gift from my ancestors. All right. See if you can get back. We must be tireless. Shogun Gun Lord reporting. I will not tolerate slow. Right. Well, there's another one. A step too far. There's four of them at a time. That's quite a lot. All right, we cannot recruit except for that. But with the garrison at the Turtle Gate. We'll be totally fine. Drogodown makes the move. I think we'll go help him next turn. Wait, we hit our 50? We're doing nothing? Wait, I'm confused. How do we get 50? I think we do just pick this up. Um, the Terracotta Sentinel, the Wuxian War Compass, all makes sense. We could even get some Great Loma here in the future. So we have one, but we also can get the... Regiment Renown one. I stand apart. All right, we don't get a heal, but we're not attritioning, so that's good. Are we going to pick up anything else right now? Feels like we're missing two points here. Or we can take Magic Reserve and Regrowth. Yeah, that wins. I was born to wield it. I think we just swap into like in camp and start moving to Gorgor's Rock. They can go assist with Challenge Stone. We force this out. It's going to be a pretty damaging battle, I think. But then we leave them here to recruit and we move on to other places. Meet with our sister again. She might have to finish this army off. Or we can do this. We can technically do this. We're a little injured, not gonna lie. And we're not healing here either. It is mine by blood rights. I solo this. Oh no. <laughs> Movement ends. Okay. So we, we sit here. We lost one questing night. They were not that great. We can swap out actually quite a few units here. Um, I can get three more. We keep the one that's here. We're not going to get rid of it. 
Let's just get one. One more new unit. What do we need here? We need... I was hoping to get some Wood Elf units. Woodkin, Hawk Riders, sounds good. Let's get two Hawk Riders. We'll get three if we want to. I just gotta combine some more units. Or we can give some knights back. I mean, flying units definitely has advantage. Knight of the Realm. Questy knights are good. Ooh, talking about flying units. Hold on. Natural authority. Three turns for these, though. Alright, we're out of action. This army is just going to be chilling. Missing a few range units. We could also combine two, three, six, seven front line, four. I mean, they're technically little range. It's fine. And we're relying on them to just hold. I want to go colonize, but with this army there, we can't do anything. I don't think we want to step out. No agent there. There's an agent there. Try to go kill him. Right, so they fought us. Is this also an elite one? No, this one's not. This one is not. We finish this army off. Then what? The then do we take Gated Czar? There's no other target, right? Yeah. Hunting for okay, two stacks. Let me think about it. Still pretty dangerous. So basically, the safest move is actually to beat him up and then retreat back to our area. Shugengun Lord reporting. Yeah, we need to be extra careful here. We cannot afford to lose these armies like our last foray out of the Black Fortress. That was way too damaging. A tool worthy of a dragon. I was born to wield. Right, so they didn't do the fighting last time. Born to rule. Dragon blood they can lead the effort this time. The Emperor's love. Just trying to spread out the damage around the three armies. They took the it most damage. So I think we're actually going to march Redouble them back to Demon Stump. Not sure if we want to just go up against these. We could hit him, since he is a marching army, drag him out, and also drag out the garrison. I would have to march to assist, but it would be a very feasible fight. And then we have to defend this with the injured army with him coming down be a more aggressive move. The, Lord stands ready. the ambush got no one. A most thoughtful strategy. We could go back and siege. I don't know if what happened. I mean, there's army there, right? We know this army there. We could come this way. Most wise. Why don't we ambush, actually? We ambush our own territory. Right around here. So we can strike that next turn. We can also heal this turn. Our movement's not great. Oh, here. 27, 30. Yes, this, this might ruin our ambush. And if it's ruined, it's fine. At least we're healing. That's the main goal here. And we're basically going to pound the Gates of Tsar next turn. They get to heal. What is this? 
second gun lord repeat. we can kill this witness their dim earn the emperor's love there is no call for proof offspring of dragons dragon blooded sugar all right scout the bad news is there's a stack here <laughs> and they got some green skin armies mm. we could siege it we have the movement for it 2v1 Of All right, so they're just gonna hold. There's armies coming. I know that. Need my warp token stash. Forbidden elixir. She's a survivor from that first failed attack in this area. I don't think we can beat them straight up, even with them on march, with the garrison help. It'd be better if we lure them out, but we run the risk of failing the ambush and then getting ambushed by them, which would be a complete wipe for us. We posture. If he moves out, we hit him. If he doesn't move out, we just look and wait for our armies to assist. You're gonna pump out this way. Does he have any? No agents. Okay. There's an agent here. Alright, so that's fine. I'm going to. I'm gonna bait, actually. Observe my orchestration. It is my calling. Blend with the night. All right, we want to catch this army, and then we can colonize. They also took this. And they're also going to take this. And we'll see what he does. That might be all we have to do. Yeah, kind of afraid to move against the Skavens after what happened to the last ambush. Nice. Ah, these are so expensive. Right, so if we queue an in-building, we know there's an in-building getting queued. These can't wait. No place to find a young building? Yeah, that's a bummer. So I don't know if we can build that in building. I guess we can. We can just recall the. or summon a new hero. Alright. It's fine. All 
I want to upgrade a settlement if that's possible. Right, we'll take these actually. Anything else? All right, that's got to be it. We're dirt poor now. Wolf. Hi. Skaven warlord. Master of this clan. Lord of all you see. I can probably pay him off next turn. Clan war. We probably just want to fight them and then all the green skin. All right, any missions? Because we did finish a few. Any missions that's reasonable? No. Yep, nope. Azazel. Maybe Drogon can just siege that himself slowly, take some time, because I don't want to split the siblings. I think they can go down together. There's a couple of Warrior of Chaos armies down here. Huh? Where do they come from? This is our ambush. I don't know if I can pull them back. I th I'll try. They attack the other one, we can pull that back as well. Now they caught us. Okay, so at least we forced them to overextend a little, where they only have now two armies instead of three. I will lose literally one unit to crush this. In perfect harmony. Like, yeah, they lose everything. Only 2%? I, I would think it would be like a massive percentage. We can get something better. Like, we had really no good choices there. So I was fine with losing a great sword here. We'll take the 2%. We're in our own territory. We're fine. So they threw three armies at us? We killed two of them. They threw four armies at us. That, that This one doesn't count, I guess. Three. Hmm? Oh, the, the ambush worked! The ambush worked! Baited. How are we balanced? Did we get an agent back? That's the only thing I can think of. Like a failed agent. Because I'm pretty sure we queued just the in building, and somehow we got away with it. I mean, we should send him some help. We just need to know there's no help from them coming. Then we can just leave them there. Archon's coming down. This army's not fit to fight him. Not even the ambush. We completed the province. We'll fight the we'll fight the defensive setup first. That's a good bone here. Dragon-blooded All right, we're stuck here recruiting. We can't help. We'll let him come down to us. Power in the blood. I'm gonna retreat back. I could just colonize and run, stall him for a turn, basically, right? He has to come here and take it. But let's not.
It befits my high station. This is a weird build, but whatever. Yes. Early celebration. I like it. Okay, so if he pulled out here and we took these, that means Trukadat is going to get our help because they took care of business over here. And we, get, we baited the other army to its death as well. Ah. This person is like almost all the way good. I think we can start working on the bottom here. A gift from my ancestors. The celestial blacksmith. I mean, if I march, we can do this this turn. If I, I assume she can go pretty ah uh, a little short. Replenish your strength. Want to be in foreign territory? That's when we heal with that stance. Alright, trickle down. Hang on for a turn. We'll be there soon. We'll take Challenge Stone, we'll leave them there. Then we go take Ice Spear, come down Sable Mountain. Saber Mountain. And then we loop around here. I assume this is not going to be green skin. This is all going to be chaos factions. And then we can just leave Drugo down guarding this. Ah, what about this at home? Lord of Yin and Yang. I expect loyalty, efficiency, and harmony. Ah, uh, do they really want foreign troops back at home? We did lose a couple of these. We had two more. I expect loyalty, efficiency, and harm. We'll fight him next turn. No. The Lord Magistrate stands ready. A superficial task. And because these are Skaven settlements, the caravan actually the can Lord get through Magistrate safely. <laughs> Because they don't pop out. They're just invisible there. The Alright, this is flooded. the miracle defense. This is an endgame army. Max rank. And endgame armies don't have agents in them. Let me think about it. Another endgame army. Chosen by Can't reach it. Stay hidden and sneak down. <laughs> I think that's what we gotta do. Our path is clear. Yeah. Um We're only good against age oh there's the agents are over here. It shall be a crippling assault. Well, not anymore. No, there's one more here. Alright, we'll send one down. Not paid me enough. Metal and fire. I'd rather eat a squeak. We're not healthy. Oh, he didn't even die. Oh, he died, right. Might need some time. I was born to wield it. I refuse. My ancestors. Wait, this army also doesn't have a alchemist. We'll slot one in. Natural authority. Trying to figure out how conservative we need to play this battle. It is my 
mine by blood right. Like we could go aggressive and just straight up attack this, but then we can't really pull back away from this army. Probably not a big problem. This one doesn't look that scary. Or we can just pull all three army together, kill this, and then force this. We'll take damage, but then we have to just global recruit our way back, essentially. That's probably the better play, to be honest. Alright, so we get into reinforcement range. Yeah. We might be able to fight this without taking that damage. But like, I feel like we can just do this. Because I want to switch these out, maybe to Peasant. They just heal so much faster. Shaper of the eight winds. Celestial ancestors. Get down, get! Master of Feng Shi. Allocate shifts as required. Russians will be provided. An offense to my bloodline. The dragon blooded. Offspring of dragons. You're not rotted yet! The dragon blooded. Shugan Gun Lord reporting. Like, we'll let him hit us, essentially, but we're gonna be in camp so we can heal and also global recruit. It befits my high station. A gift from my All right, <sighs> this unit lost something. Two cannons, four front lines. To serve me is a privilege. Why do we have a sky lantern? <laughs> this army's missing Service cannons. Is every Cathayan's duty. I was born to wield it. If we do cannons, we can't move. If we get something like little Grom, we can move. Ah, oh, the turns are different for these factions. Gold tooth still useless. When can I get my stone horns? Tribuches. I mean, they're not bad, especially these. I just don't have enough to get them. Oh, with them, I should have enough. Yeah, why not? That's exactly what the army's missing. All right, they have these, so they don't need that. Literally, that's all this army needs. A little thin on the range units, but we do have so many of these. Like the quality of this army. Also, we want to fit one more alchemist in here. Child of the nine. We technically should join these. It shall please the dragons. I will be obeyed. Natural authority. And then get some foreign frontlining for this one. Uh, what faction? We want one turn stuff. I mean, if we're gonna do what elves, we might as well get range units. I don't know if anyone has better frontline than us. 
That's the thing. I will not tolerate As a long spearman is just so good. Especially with our Aeon oh. bonus. Alright, we're going to do a trade of one of these over to the guy with the six. We'll steal their Loma, because you'll never be able to micro that. And honor your we'll recruit ancestors. one ourselves, and then pick up four foreign units for frontlining. We can do armor Kosars. A bit of pistol in that, too. It's cheap. Alright, not going to be the permanent solution, but... Just so that we have some units for next turn. Alright, well these are taken care of. No, don't need to do anything there. See if any more are coming... Wait, they're not recruiting anything there. There was a stack there. Not anymore. Okay, I think we got everyone. Ah, they didn't move, we didn't move. We can move towards it, I guess. We're healthier now. If we're in camp, he can't offensively ambush us, I assume. Sounds good. Next turn, we got you. I should throw myself into the fight. Spread the Emperor's word. Back them up. There may be wolfstone beneath the sands. Born to rule. Alright, Archon's coming over here, which is a tough situation for us. I wanted to join her army, but like what unit are we getting rid of? I yearn to return to my forge. We don't need two of those. Okay. Hmm, temporary balance girl. I only have 200 left. Can't do anything with that. The Warden of Tor Ivres. Oh? Hi, Elf. Have you come to help me avenge my father? If no. Tor Ivres. That means outposts no. and High Elf units. Ah, positive value. Let's do it. What is what? Ooh. We got choices. We need some money. Tower of Ashron, cancel the upgrade. I believe all the other outposts are tier three now. And nope. Unreasonable missions. I will consider any suggestion that a really uh, prince <laughs> quick. All right, no one's gonna peace out with us now. 
Um, we could finish the upgrades here. We don't have enough money for both, I think. Yeah, that's not possible. We can get extra global slot for that. But I'd rather wait till we have money enough for both. Finish that upgrade. Actually makes money. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We have like that one settlement with the two open slots. And then Celestial for the last one. Yeah, let's get the final one first, and then we'll worry about the rest. Let's not allow pleasantries to do. Oh, Boris, <laughs> we just peaced out. Nope. Been 84 faction for let's see if they fight us because they had this option here they found the ambush army wow run Whew. they got away i was about to say it's been 84 for a while and then some faction just went off and died Nice. Okay, so our ambush obviously failed. They came down. Turtle Gate's getting sieged. We'll just crush them. No big deal. So things going really well across the board. I think we take the challenge stone, leave Druga down here. Then we take out the green skin in this area with our two main army. Shouldn't be too hard. Archon's coming down. No, actually, he's not getting closer. He's still pretty far away. He's standing right here, not moving. We group our three armies together, and then we take him out. Shouldn't be a problem. And then after he's cleared and we take in this back as well, uh, this might be left for these armies to take care of because it's so close to them. And then these three, after Archon's dead, we just push this way as well. So basically, these will have like six armies, no, five. Five armies kind of filtering towards this direction. Obviously, Bone Rattlers will be on our way. We probably have to split right here. That should be a Skaven one. Maybe just empty, actually. It'd be weird to just have one Skaven territory right here. I'm not sure. Over here, it's a little awkward. They found this army. Where are the two armies that have fought it, right? This is one of them. Where's the other one? So there's an ambush somewhere here, I'm guessing. Because there's two... Crooked Moo armies that was chasing them. So we gotta be careful approaching them for that regard. And then we just gotta take out these two territories and then basically Grimgore's factions push back north. We already been fighting off their endgame armies and we've been killing them. So it's not too difficult. The Skaven's on the run, which gives us the opening to take this. Maybe we even try to catch it out in the field. That'd be an easier fight, but the movement might not be there for us. He, he could run, right? So that's the difficult part. We just take this first, I guess, and uh, start pushing them out of this area. We'll meet up and it should be good. I think we're making great progress and we'll continue from here next time. So until then, bye.